Hello there. My name is Maureen Nightingale and I'm from Yoga Therapy Ireland and I'm here to share a very short yoga practice with you with the intention and the hope of bringing you a little bit of peacefulness and calm in this otherwise very strange world we're living in today, these very challenging, anxious and worrying days. Uh, the type of yoga I teach is Hatha Yoga, which is a physical practice. And yoga, the science of yoga, is available to everybody. It's suitable for everybody, regardless of your age, your gender, your physical fitness level, your ability. Having said that, however, it would be quite important to listen to your body. And if you do have any particular injuries, whether they're current or past, or any particular concerns health-wise, that you would, if you intend to join in with me for the practice, that you would listen to the body and just take it easy, take it very gently, modify things as you need to and want to, rest if you need to, and by all means, if you just feel like sitting, listening and watching, that's okay too. Generally, when we practice yoga, we do it in our bare feet. Uh, so it's nice to be able to take off your shoes and socks, uh, to have your feet on the ground, but if that doesn't suit for whatever reason, do please feel free to leave your shoes or your runners on. So my hope for just a short practice day of maybe about 30 minutes is to see if we can take the spine through its full range of movement. And the full range of movement of the spine is to be in an upright position, to extend the spine sideways, to extend the spine forward, to rotate the spine and to bend the spine backwards. So. If you'd like to join in with me now, it's good to have a mat, a non-slip surface, certainly if you don't have a mat, but a mat is ideal. And then if you're ready, we'll get down onto all fours and we'll take our hands to the ground underneath the shoulders and we'll take our knees underneath the hips and see if we can just uh, have a straight line for the spine from head to base of spine. So you can see now, from my head to my tail end, to my to my tail end that I have a straight line. I'm just going to sway the hips just very gently, just to ease them out. And then I'm going to circle the hips a little bit, just a couple of times from one side and then to the other. And you can do that as often as you wish. If you prefer to do it a little bit longer, you can do it a little bit longer. But it's just to show you how to do it very gently, moving from one side to the other, taking care of your knees, taking care of your wrists. So when we've done that, we're going to come up to what we call tabletop position. Tabletop position is just literally a straight spine, again, from your head to your tail end. And in this position, tabletop, as we call it, our neutral spine, we're going to tilt the spine forward and back a few times. And this creates what we call cat stretch. So on an inhale, we're going to lift the tail end up a little bit, open the chest and looking forward just enough to stretch your, your front neck a little and then on your exhale rounding your upper back and on the inhale arching your back just that little bit again and on the exhale rounding your back so there's a little bit more detail involved in this but we won't go into that just now we'll just see if we can experience the movement of tilting the spine forward and back and one more time forward, relaxing your shoulders and tilting the spine back. And this is a really nice way of just warming up your spine. If you have no issues with your ankles, you can sit back on your feet for a second. And if you can, walk the hands forward just a tiny bit more to sit your bottom back a little bit more and stretch out your back and just allow yourself to take a breath or two here. When you're ready, we're going to come back up onto all fours to that neutral spine position. And we'll take our cat stretch a little bit further by inhaling and lifting one leg out behind. And on the exhale, draw the knee down to the floor. And on the inhale, lift and stretch the opposite leg back. Do your best to keep your spine as long and as straight as you can. And on the exhale, lower the knees. And again, you're going to do this a couple of times to either side. 
stretching the lifted leg a little bit more, extending the heel away, lowering the knee down. And again to the opposite side, extending the leg back, flexing the foot, keeping the hips as level as you can. And then slowly bring that knee back down. If you can, turn the toes under and again sit back on your feet. So when you turn the toes under like this, it stretches all the toe joints. We're going to see if we can just bear with that for a breath or two because sometimes the toes get quite tight inside our shoes and runners. We don't have the same freedom in our toes as we do in our fingers. So we sit back towards the toes just as much as you can, just for a breath, and then slowly let that go. So in whatever way you find it easiest for you, we're going to come up to standing. So walking the hands back towards the knees, and if you can come up through a squat position, you can do that, or coming up using a chair to help you up, that's absolutely fine too. So we're going to come up to standing and just shake out the hands a little bit, shake out the feet a little bit, shrug out the shoulders a little bit, roll the shoulders up, back and down, and up, forward and down. And again, you're going to do that a few times. So we inhale, open the palms of the hands out to the side, lifting the arms all the way up. And if you can, bring the hands together. And on the exhale, stretch the palms away, lower the arms back down. And we'll do that twice more, inhaling, lifting the arms all the way up, palms together if you can. Exhaling, draw the palms away from you and back down by your sides. Last time, now breathing in, lifting the arms up. And this time, if you can, bring your hands together, interlace your fingers, and see if you can stretch the palms all the way up. And then if it's comfortable for your spine, for your hips, we'll extend the body over to your right, just a little, taking a breath there, and then inhale, come back to the middle, exhale, extend the spine over to the opposite side, just to where you can, and then inhale, Come all the way back to the middle and lower your arms back down. Let's extend the arms out in front and exhale, bring the fingers to your shoulders. And then just very gently begin to draw the arms forward a couple of times. See if you can make as big a circle with your arms as you can. Then do the opposite, taking the arms all the way back and looking forward to opening up your chest. Breathing as you're doing this, letting your breath flow as freely as possible. Let's relax the arms down. So for the minute, we'll put the hands on the hips just to help with balance. And then we'll see if we can lift the right foot off the floor and just place it to the inside of your standing leg. So you have this outward movement of that right knee. So we're going to use this as a part balance. Some of you might be familiar with the full balance, in which case you can take your right foot up a little further along your left leg or higher still if you wish. Otherwise, just keep the foot on the floor and just be steady. We can keep the hands on the hips or we can take the arms out wide or we can lift the arms up or we can bring the hands together in front of the chest and just take a breath or two in this position and just focus your gaze on something straight ahead of you, just as a concentration point and that helps with your balance. Relax your arms down and we'll do that to the other side. It's important in our yoga practice to create balance by doing everything on each side. So standing on the right foot, we'll pick up the left foot and place it again to your own chosen position on the inside of your right leg. And then again, using your arms, your breath in to lift your arms up. Bring the palms together in front of your chest. Or again, you can use those other options with hands on the hips or the arms all the way up if you prefer. So any of those are really good, but the focus really is opening that left knee out a little to open the hip. And then when we're ready, we'll relax the arms and stand the right foot down. So we're going to take the feet apart now. And depending on the length of your legs, we want a good wide distance between the feet. We're going to turn the right toes out to the right, and we're going to keep the left foot steady as it is. Now, this gives you an outward rotation in one hip and a slight inward rotation in the other hip, although we're looking to really open up both hips. So 
again, we can put the hands on the hips just for focus, for steadiness, and a little bit like the, the movement of I'm a little teapot, we're going to extend that right arm out wide, and I'm going to reach out to the right, just as far as your hips will allow you to go. When you've extended out to the right, you bring the right hand down, anywhere above or below that right knee. If you wish, you can keep the left hand where it is, or you can extend the left arm all the way up into the air, and then have a real sense of openness in your chest, and as straight a spine as you can manage. So we're going to move from here to lift all the way back up again, but this time keeping the arms out wide. And I'm going to bend the right knee. As you bend the right knee, check that your right knee is stacked over your right ankle and then it's safe. From here, we're going to tilt the side, take the right elbow onto the right thigh and extend the left arm beyond the head if you want to, or keep the left hand on the left hip if you prefer, and then just see if you can open up your chest, turning the belly button towards the wall directly in front. So take a breath here, and another one, and then inhale, press down into both feet, and lift up, relax the arms, let's turn the right foot forward, let's turn the left foot out. So as I say, Everything we do to one side, we have to balance by doing it to the opposite side. So let's inhale, hands to the hips. Extend the left arm out to the left. On your exhale, extend that left arm out a little further. Take the left hand down onto your left leg, above or below the knee, depending on what your flexibility is in your hips. Keep the, the right hand on the right hip if you wish, or you can extend the right arm up into the air. Tummy is facing forward. And then we'll inhale, lift back up to center, arms out wide. As you exhale, bend that left knee. So again, you can see that the left knee is over the, uh, over the ankle. Relax your shoulders. That's lovely. And then on the exhale, bend over to the left, left elbow on left leg, right arm beyond the head if that suits, or right hand on right hip. Well done. And then when you're ready, slowly back up to center, relax the arms down, turn that left foot forward, and then just heel and toe your feet back into the middle. Once you bring the feet back to the middle, I'm just going to turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing. Bring your feet together. Put your hands on your hips, again, just by way of a focus. And keeping your back as straight as you can, you're going to bend your knees a little bit. And then you're going to imagine sitting back into a chair. So think of a chair behind you now, bend your knees, bend your hips back as far as you can. Do your best to keep your back as straight as possible. So keeping your back straight, but your knees quite well bent. Keep sending the hips back as if you're gonna sit into a chair. And then if you've no issues with your blood pressure, if you wish, you can extend the arms out or up depending on how you feel, or you can keep your hands resting on your thighs. So press into the feet and slowly lift all the way back up to stand. And again, I'm just going to turn to face you for a second. Relax your arms down by your sides. We're going to inhale and lift the arms all the way up, palms together, exhale, bring the joint hands down towards your navel. Inhale, lift the arms out and up. Exhale, bring the palms together and all the way down to your navel. One more time, inhale, lift the arms all the way out and up. Exhale, bring the palms down. Rest them this time in front of your chest. And just for two breaths, close your eyes and breathe through your nose. If you have breathing difficulties or a cold at the moment, keep your lips just slightly parted. So very gently now, we're going to move from here back down onto the floor and I'd invite you to sit. Now, depending on how your knee joints are, how your hip joints are, you can, if you wish, again, sit on your feet or you can sit cross-legged. So I'm going to sit cross-legged 
but just in a very easy cross-legged position. So once you sit with your legs crossed or sit on your feet, we're aiming now to continue to sit up straight. So we're looking for a nice long spine. When you allow your spine to be nice and long, your chest has the opportunity to open. Your diaphragm, which is the muscle that pumps your breath in and out, has the opportunity to move freely. And this is what we want. We want to be able to breathe freely and easily. So as you sit tall, we're going to do a little bit of twisting and extending. So let's just place the two hands down on the ground. We'll extend your right arm up into the air. And on your exhale, just extend the spine over towards your left. Relax your shoulders. Look straight ahead. Wonderful. And then come slowly back to the middle and we'll change sides, lifting the left arm up. And as you exhale, extend the body over towards your right and then back to the center. Now we'll take that a little bit further if you'd like to try. So we'll extend the right arm up again. And this time as you exhale, again, you're going to extend over towards the left, but very gently, you're going to see if you can walk that left hand out a little bit further and just keep your hips firmly planted in the floor. Breathe away. Feel that nice stretch along your right side. And then we'll inhale and very gently creep that left hand back and relax the right arm down. Let's inhale and lift the left arm up. On your exhale, we'll extend over towards the right. And again, if you feel you can, you can manage it, we'll creep the right fingers out to the right and we'll see if we can extend to that left side a little bit more. Spine is still nice and long as much as you can manage. Chest is still wide open. Very slowly, walk those right fingers back. Well done. So now we'll inhale and we'll lift both arms up. And on the exhale, we'll very slowly turn the whole body round towards the right. We're going to take a breath or two here, and then we'll inhale and very slowly revert back to the middle, where we'll inhale again and lift the arms up, and on the exhale, turn the body slowly to the left, resting the right hand on the left knee, turning the belly towards the left, eventually turning the head. And we'll take a breath or two here. And then we'll very slowly come back to the middle. Again, I'm going to turn sideways down so you can see what I'm doing. This time I'm going to stretch my legs out and you might like to do that at this point if your legs or your knees or your ankles are a little bit tired. So once you stretch the legs out, again, it would be important to sit up straight. So do your best now as much as you can to think of allowing the front of your spine to lengthen as well as the back. And then we'll take the hands, first of all, onto the floor just behind a little bit. You can have the palms facing forwards or turn backwards. So flex your feet. Think of moving your shoulder blades towards each other and down towards the floor, feeling how that opens up and lift your chest a little bit. So let's take one or two breaths here, lengthening from the top of your head to the base of your spine. Good, well done. And then we can take that a little bit further if you would like to try by just bringing the hands flat onto the floor by your hips and then just bending the elbows and bringing the elbows down onto the floor. So when you bring the elbows down onto the floor, we need to flex the feet to give the spine some support. And then we draw the elbows in underneath the shoulders. So you might like to explore that a little bit if you would like to. So again, we think of broadening and opening the chest, shoulder blades moving closer together. This is a back bend. Remember we were saying earlier that the spine has different ranges of movement. The back bending is not one that we do every day, but it really should be. Not necessarily this movement, of course, but a back bend of some kind. So let's very slowly now walk the elbows and the hands forward. And then just to counteract any back bending, it's always good 
to do either a twist or a forward bend. But given that we've done a twist, we'll do a forward bend. So <clears throat> it would be quite important, depending on how your back is, particularly if you do have back issues, to bend your knees and put your feet on the floor. So the easiest way to teach or to show you a forward bend is just to pop your hands in underneath your legs and then to really think about sitting up straight and draw your shoulder blades down your back. So this is a nice way of sitting tall. And then all we're going to do is just very gently, without moving your hips, is to creep your feet forward a little bit. And as you creep your feet forward, to allow your ribs to stay attached to your thighs, to stay connected to your thighs. So we'll just take that for a breath or two, and then we'll see if we can do a full forward bend, but just taking it very gently. So you can keep your knees bent if you wish. You can straighten your legs if you know that your hamstrings are nice and long and your back is safe. And then we'll take a breath in and lift the arms up overhead, and on the breath out, folding down towards your legs, just as far as you feel that you're comfortable with. If you want to allow your head to hang down, you can by all means. And you can close your eyes. And seated forward bending is always a nice way to start to withdraw your awareness inwards. And that's what we'll do now. We'll begin to withdraw our awareness inwards so that even within this short practice, we're getting some breath awareness and we're getting some relaxation. So when you have taken a couple of breaths there, I'd invite you to continue to sit if you would like, either sitting on the floor as we are or sitting in a chair, or in fact, you can lie down if you prefer. And then if you do choose to lie down, you can either lie down with your legs extended out in front of you, or you can lie down with your knees bent in what they call a semi-supine position. So you choose which of those options suits you best. We're going to do just a little bit of breathing and I'm going to use my nice singing bowl here just to help again with focus of attention. So once you settle yourself into sitting or lying, I'd invite you maybe now to close your eyes. And once you close your eyes, it has that really nice sensation of drawing your awareness inwards and when you draw your awareness inwards you start to become more aware of your body and the sensations within your body but then ultimately you start to notice your breathing and how you're breathing and the purpose of focused breath work is to see if we can encourage the breath to relax and to slow down so first of all, as you sit and you breathe and you become aware of your breathing, notice, are you breathing mostly in your chest? Are you breathing mostly in your abdomen? Can you feel your breath in your ribs? Or is it a combination of all three? Oftentimes when we're tense and anxious, the breath is coming mostly from the chest. So we're looking to see if we can encourage the breath down deeper so that we can take slower, deeper, more relaxed breaths. So with that in mind, and you're just going to continue to breathe exactly as you're breathing now, you're not going to change your breathing pattern, the habit, the quality, the sound of your breath. Nothing needs to change. And you're just going to continue breathing in and breathing out. And <clears throat> you'll see here I have this nice, what they call a singing bowl. And for the purpose of this part of our practice, I'm going to very gently strike the bowl, but I'm going to invite you to count to six between each strike of the bowl. So in other words, when I strike the bowl, you're going to count up to six. And then when I strike the bowl a second time, you're going to count down from six because you're counting all the time in between the strike of each bow. So for example, like this, two, three, four, five, six, 
two, three, four, five, six. So in between each strike, you're counting to six, irrespective of how long your breath in or your breath out is. So let's begin. So closing your eyes, watching your breath, just listening to its sound, just being aware of the movement of the breath within your body. So the next time that you hear the strike on the bowl, you're going to count up to six and then the next strike down from six. So breathe away, allow your breath to flow freely. Best breathe through your nose or if your nose is slightly stuffy, through your nose and mouth. Just continue to sit quietly for a moment. And now if you're not already lying down, can I invite you to lie down on the floor? So again, as you lie down, you choose what they call Shavasana, which is the corpse pose lying straight down along the ground, with your legs stretched out, feet rolling outwards to the sides, arms away from your sides, hands resting gently on the ground. Or as I said earlier, you might choose that semi-supine position, which is where you're lying on the floor with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. Again, you close your eyes. You think of allowing your shoulder blades to move down towards the back of your waist, freeing out your ribs and chest. And when you close your eyes this time, it's about, again, drawing your awareness inwards, but deeper inwards this time. And having listened to that very gentle sound of the bowl being struck or stricken, you will have listened to those vibrations from the bowl. And then paying attention to the breath in and the breath out. Ideally now your breath in and breath out are very gentle, very soft. And so as your breath continues to flow, I want you just to mentally scan your body now, scanning through your feet and your ankles, and your lower legs and your knees, being aware of your upper legs, your hips, your pelvis, your waist. Notice your ribs, your chest, your heart, your collarbones, your shoulders, your shoulder blades. Be aware of your hands, your lower arms, your elbows, your upper arms, your armpits and shoulder joints. Notice the back of your neck, the sides of your neck, the front of your neck and your chin. Consciously relax and soften all the muscles of your face. Have a little space between your upper jaw and your lower jaw. Releasing tension from your forehead, from your temples. Feel the back of your head resting on the ground. Each time you exhale, imagine the weight of your body sinking a little deeper into the floor. Allow that to happen. Allow the weight of your body to sink down. As you give permission for the weight of your body to sink, the breathing becomes a little easier. It becomes a little more relaxed. Your body begins to rest and restore. And even though our physical practice for some may not have been very challenging, irrespective of that, 
is more important what your breath is doing now, what your mind space is doing now. So keep your eyes closed, continue to pay attention to your breath, listen to its sound. And as I read these few words, you might like to mentally repeat them in your own mind. Breathing in, I know I am breathing in. Breathing out, I know I am breathing out. Breathing in, I notice my breath has become deep. And breathing out, I notice my breath has become slow. Breathing in, I calm my body and my mind. Breathing out, I am at ease. Breathing in, I smile. And breathing out, I release, I relax. I let go. Breathing in, I come back to the present moment. Breathing out, I know this is a wonderful moment. Breathing in, breathing out, deep. Slow, calm, ease, smile, release, relax, let go. Allow your body to remain still. Allow your body to remain soft. Allow your body to remain at ease. Take a few more moments just for yourself here in this position. And then when the time feels right for you, and there's no rush for you to move, there's no rush for you to leave this quiet place, but when the time does feel right, then just take your time, think about the feeling of your body on the floor. Think about the feeling of your clothing touching your skin. Notice any sense of sound, listen to what you can hear. Notice any taste in your mouth, any particular smell in your nostrils, any images or colours behind your closed eyes. And as your senses become a little more alert, think then about bringing small movement back into your fingers and toes. So wriggle your fingers and wriggle your toes and then begin to stretch your legs and stretch your arms. And just take your time. You might like to bend up your knees towards your chest if you can, hug your legs close, and then just give yourself a little rock from right to left, just a small, tiny, tiny little rock from right to left. And then just take your time to roll over completely onto one side then use your hands and ease yourself up from the floor to sitting. When you sit up, important to close your practice for now, however short it was. And to do that, we sit up nice and tall, keeping the eyes closed if you can. We'll extend the arms out wide to the sides and inhale and lift the arms all the way up overhead, bring palms together. Exhale, bring the joined hands down to rest in front of your chest. Allow your head to bow slightly forward towards your fingertips. And just take a moment just to be aware of how you feel now, this moment, this wonderful moment. 
How do you feel now? Once you've acknowledged how you feel, very gently sit up. Give your hands a little rub, give your legs a little rub, your shoulders a little rub, and relax. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the practice. We'll meet another time. Namaste. Thank mm -hmm. you.